top best vintage cars, number 1, 1956 Chrysler New Yorker. Unlike the city that gave it its name, the bold and stylish two-tone four-door car featured details that didn't exist before. Back in the day, cars were built by engineers, not designers, but Axner changed that perception. Fast, futuristic, push-button gearbox, check brocade upholstery, and a low, sleek exterior with tiny fans. Interior a glance behind the elegant door panels reveals a grayish pink paint scheme to match the exterior design with pink vanilla on top and grayish pink vanilla underneath with chrome stripes separating them. As for the interior, the front passenger is sitting on two hard back seats. The gearbox is a square panel with buttons to the driver's left. On the dark, salmon-colored steering column is a two-tone backlight steering wheel with sun dance and rosewood lettering and a chrome klaxon ring with rounding inserts. The lower part of the dashboard is angled and has a chrome overlay. In the center are several round knobs for the wipers and interior lightning. And just below this is the factory radio. Transmission. Under the bonnet is 354cc V8 Tammy. There is a single twin barrel carburetor at the top of the two speed power flight automatic transmission at the rear. The rear axle has 3.36 gears. The car is fully restored with only a thin layer or dust underneath. You can buy this car for $25,000. Number 2, 1948, Tucker 48. On the 19th of June 1947, the Tucker 48 prototype was unveiled for the first time at the Tuskeg plant in Chicago. The lack of a reverse gear, too noisy engine and artificial suspension only led journalists to say that the project was unpromising. A division of Tucker Export Company was opened in New York to sell cars to other markets. As vice presidents of the company, Tucker recruited well-known executives of the American automotive industry, such as Fred Rockman of Plymouth, Hanson Brawl of GM, C. Lemon of Bork Warner, Lee Rice of Ford, and Robert Pierce of Briggs Manufacturing. Tucker rushed to raise the company's stock price to an unthinkable $20 million, which could not go unnoticed by the US Securities and Exchange Commission. The big three supported the dangerous competitor in every way possible, seeking to eliminate it at any price. The commission had every reason to accuse Tucker of fraud. Firstly, Tucker had not collected money from nearly 2,000 dealers and promised to deliver cars for sale to them without delay. Secondly, the additional income was generated by an accessory sales program that allowed customers to purchase all the necessary equipment without waiting for a car. Thus, in 1949, Tucker found itself embroiled in a legal battle that led to the closure of the factory. By the time, only 36 Tucker 48s had been built. Since very few copies were produced, this car is very expensive, costing around $1 million. Number 3, 1962, Chevrolet Impala. Chevrolet introduced the SS option on the full-size Impala in 1961, and the concept became widespread in 1962. The exterior of the SS model featured a convertible roof, additional chrome trim, and rotating aluminum chrome-plated panels to accommodate the three-block taillights. This special trim was also used on the side moldings, giving the SS a distinctive appearance. The 1962 Impala Super Sport is a stunning example of the finest full-size Chevrolet model, striking from every angle. The interior in SS trim invites you to step back in time, starting with the saddle-shaped seats and ending with passenger louvers ventilated windows and a Delco transistorized AM radio. All windows have smoked glass. Power is the RM50 BHP from a 327cc small bore engine with 4 barrel intake and carburetor, appropriately numbered. The price is about $23,000. Number 4, 1964 Aston Martin DB4. With the launch of the DB4, Aston Martin set the bar even higher by offering its customers a brand new GT car. 
The Aston Martin TB4 was undoubtedly the most beautiful British sports car of the 50s and was not inferior to either the Ferrari or the Mercedes in power or comfort. Thanks to the perfect combination of Italian style and technical development of Aston Martin engineers, the car became the most successful model of the brand of its time and brought world fame. Aston Martin DB4 was created in 1956 in parallel with the production of previous model DB MK3. The chassis was designed by Harold Beach under the direction of John Weir, and the 3.7 liter six cylinder engine was developed by Tadek Malik. The power unit was the same as the previous generation of the 2.9 liter Ligonte engine, but the larger cylinder block was all aluminium with 240 HP. The engine was tested in 1957 in a 1957 Aston Martin race car. This car will cost you $173,000. Number 5, 1956 Chevrolet Bel Air. The Tri-5 Bel Air was a revolutionary model for Chevrolet and consolidated the brand's market position. In fact, in just one year, the 1956 Bel Air increased Chevrolet's market share from 16% to 28%. Among the changes introduced as part of the comprehensive facelift were the front and rear parts as well as the trim. At the front, there was a new full-length grille, at the rear, a single housing for the taillights, brake lights and reversing lights, chrome-plated details were added, and the fuel tank was hidden behind the left-hand taillight panel. You can easily buy this car for $32,000. Number 6, 1968 Chevrolet Camaro The Chevrolet Camaro entered its second year of the market without significant design changes. The 1968 model received long rectangular mirrors and headlights, base version, dual taillights and side macro lights, mandatory for federal government. In addition, the side windows lacked fans and were replaced with an Astrovan system. The rear suspension was greatly improved with multi-leaf springs and step shocks. The SS package included standard front disc brakes and a 350 HP V8 396 engine, in addition to the 325 and 375 HP versions. Chevrolet Camaro sales totaled 235,151 units, 2,440 of which were convertibles. The price of this car now is $2,800. Write in the comments which vintage car you like the most. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button. See you later.